Hello everybody, Carnage Nine Seven Productions here. Um, I don't know when you'll be watching this. You'll be watching this sometime. I'm okay, but basically, depending on when you're watching this, my most recent video will have been my Fallout Power Armor plushie review. That was kind of hard to say. Not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but I thought to myself, what would be something else that's Fallout related that would be interesting to make for a plushie? If you've clicked on this video without reading the description and you don't know, that's good. But more than likely, you know what it is because you read you read the the title of this video, so you already know what it is. So without further delay, what I came up with with was a huge, gigantic Assaultron plushie. Before I get into the review itself, I thought I'd mention I have an Instagram. That's right, in case you didn't pay attention last video. It might not be the last video I made, depending on when this comes out, because this is a pre-recorded one before. But anyways, I have an Instagram. There's my username right there. Not only will I be posting pictures of some of my plushies, but also I'll be posting sneak peeks of videos or teasers of some of my videos. And I'll even be posting some of my original artwork. So yeah. If you're not already, go ahead and follow this username on Instagram. And just so in case none of you know, I keep trying to copy the link, but every time I try to copy the link to my Instagram page, it just opens it up. It opens up my home, my Instagram app. So yeah, enough shameless self-promotion. Let's get into the review. So one of the things you'll immediately notice about the plushie is the green. Like, why is it green? Okay, here's the thing. I had several pictures so I had to stick with a picture that looked at least as close as I could get. And I basically got it. I was like, here, here's these different shades of colors. And I asked two different people. And basically it's like, okay, the and this green matched the best, which I now that I'm seeing it fully put together, I totally agree with. Why are you sliding? So yeah, ignore that little part where where it fell down. <laughs> But yeah, this thing is huge. Not like huge, like it's absolutely gigantic in real life. It's still relatively small because it's a plushie. But compared to like some of my some of my actual plushies, this one's a, a bit taller than the others. And, and in case you guys don't believe me, here's a quick comparison. High comparison with Freddy Fazbear. As you can see, he doesn't even come up to her, the, her shoulders. And then if we hold up the Bonnie, Bonnie, counting his ears, aren't even as tall as the Assaultron. And here's a little extra something. You hold Parasite here, taller than Freddy, but still shorter than Bonnie. So <laughs> this thing is just absolutely gigantic compared to my plushie. Now, one of the reasons this thing is so tall is probably due to the fact that I messed. I was worried about size and making it too small. <laughs> but yeah, compared to Parasite right here, I wanted... To the assault trying to be around the same size, but as you can see, that uh, that didn't go too well. <laughs> but overall, I'm pretty proud of it. There is one problem. I did use pipe cleaners in the arms so they could do, like the you know, hold on a second. Ah, uh, hold on, cut this out. Cut this out. Tentacle. Out. So yeah, like I was trying to do, I was trying to bend them forward like that to where they'd stay up but they wouldn't so um yeah but yeah these th basic i'm not sure if it was too much hot glue or if i put it on wrong but basically ev and also i don't think i put enough pipe cleaners on this uh you were not falling over again not again basically i didn't i don't think i put enough <laughs> hey uh. As I was trying to say, I don't think I did enough, I didn't make the pipe cleaners in the arms themselves thick enough, because every time you try to bend the elbow where it's supposed to be, this just bends. And the hands are actually movable a little bit, as you can see, looks good, good look on that hand, at. yeah. The fingers don't have any pipe cleaners in them, because they're way too, uh, they're way too small. That, and one of the biggest problems, like I've just shown you, is it won't stand up straight, mostly because if you take a look at the seams carefully and look at it straight, yeah, this I didn't get this leg straight enough. I messed up on that. But other than that, I'd say I did pretty good on this plushie. I'm not I I there. It's like whenever you make a new plushie for the first time, a new type of plushie, you make mistakes. You know you made them, but at least you did better than you thought you would. And 
if you want to check out a full body of the like a full body images of the Assaultron, go check out my Instagram. Like I said, username once again, right there. And without further ado, please please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to never miss an upload again. You assaultron! <laughs>